All right, welcome. Today we're going to do an end-to-end -end turkey gravy uh, on the big green egg, which is not a traditional flour-based turkey gravy like you're used to at Thanksgiving and Christmas. This is a uh, water and vegetable-based uh, uh, gravy with chicken stock. Uh, it's super simple. You do this when you're prepping the bird right before you put it on in the smoker. Uh, but essentially what it is, it's carrots, celery, fresh garlic, butter, onions, chicken stock, water, apple juice, sage, bay leaves, and thyme. Uh, look, at, look at the link below and you can see all the uh, exact ingredients and in, in the measurements of that. But essentially all you do is get one of these uh, pans that you're going to put on top of the place setter in the big green egg. And you're basically going to load all the ingredients inside of here. And you're going to put this on top of the place setter on the big green egg. Uh, and basically close that lid and let that bird smoke. Uh, and at the end this thing is going to come out and uh, you're going to either use a a blender if you've got a Vitamix or something like that, um, great. But um, if not, you can use a traditional uh, handheld blender and blend up the gravy and it's, it's good to go. So um, again, all the exact ingredients are below, but you're gonna take everything and mix it in this pan. And I'll show you how you're gonna put it on the place setter. You're just gonna put it on just like you traditionally would um, I usually, sometimes I do just water and butter, uh, but I need gravy this time, so I'm going to use this. And then you do the sage. And depending on how big your pan is, uh, depends how much liquid you want to put in there, it's never going to get too dried out. And at the end, if it is too thick, you can actually add hot water to it before you blend it up, uh, and it's perfect. But basically, we're going to add the chicken stock. You're going to bring that to the top. I'm going to mix that up. And then once the egg's ready, I'm going to very carefully put this on the place setter. Um, and then we'll, we'll show you the next step. All right, so I've got the smoker cranked up uh, with my wood in there for the turkey. Uh, it's raising temperature, so I went ahead and put this in there so I could stabilize it. But basically, you put you know the smoking configuration feet up on the on the place setter, and you'll notice I removed some of the liquid. That's easier to transport, so you don't spill it. And I just put it in a, in a in a jar, and then you just fill it up to the brim. Once it's in there, and that you're going to lose some some of that moisture as it boils uh, and cooks for the next. For me, it's going to probably take. Uh, you know nine hours for for the turkey that I'm doing um, but basically we're just going to keep that underneath the, the grate um, and we're gonna we're gonna basically at the end of the smoke um, that's going to be boiled down and you'll see that I'm going to put the turkey on top of it uh, and then at the end I'll show you how you do it you basically just put it I'm going to put mine in our, our Vitamix blender you could do, do it with a, a handheld mixer as well uh, and you basically just mix it up and if you if it's a little bit too lumpy and, and you've evaporated a lot of that juice you're just going to add some hot water to it all right so i just took the turkey off and now it's time to get our gravy going so as you can see it's got a nice color to it and actually i didn't lose a ton uh, via evaporation so what i'm going to do here uh, i've got this handy tool here I'm just going to scoop out all these veggies and put them in a bowl so I can get that pan in, uh, low enough where I can lift it. Because I'm not going to I'm not going to use all the liquid in there, but I am going to use some of it, and I'll show you how to do that inside. Basically, you're going to put all those veggies in here and then bring that tray uh, inside, and then you use that juice. All right, so basically took all those veggies that are drained with a little bit of juice in there, uh, put them in the Vitamix. And then I've got the pan right here with the juice to add it as needed. So it depends how thick or thin you like your gravy. Um, depends how much you want to blend it up. If you don't have a Vitamix, just use a normal handheld blender. And you can go from there. You 
you don't want to puree it too much because you don't want it to be like water. That's going to thicken up after after a while. So that consistency there it might be a little thick. So I'm going to add some juice to it. A ladle of juice. do it so that's about the consistency you want so just serve that up you like you would normal gravy no flour in it just uh, normal veggie gravy but it's got a really good flavor with that smoke off that smoked turkey all right just one quick view of the final product so you can see the kind of the tix texture and consistency but that is how about how you want it right there not too thick not too thin enjoy